can anyone confirm in the chat if the screen is visible perfectly and am I audible? Yes, visible. Yeah, yes, you are audible and visible as well. Okay. A very good evening to one and all. I am Kushbu Singh, a consultant dietitian and diabetes educator. I welcome all of you on behalf of IIP in Kolkata chapter to this interesting webinar on the topic Recycling of Waste, Benefits of Pomegranate Peels. So uh, fruits and vegetables are highly uh, used food products in the uh, amongst the horticulture uh, crops and uh, they are consumed in various forms and because of which there is a high demand and to meet this demand uh, there has been exponential increase in uh, yield of these products but uh, in spite of that uh, we have a lot of waste that is generated uh, from the peels of these uh, fruits and vegetables and um, these uh, are considered to be more Um, did the screen recording stop? Am I audible? Yes, you are audible. The screen is not visible. No, screen is not visible. Usually. Okay, I'll just... Yeah, sure. Okay, so um, so we were discussing about uh, the fruits and vegetables. So the peel of these uh, fruits and vegetables are generated as waste, and it is uh, found to be uh, like twenty to uh, twenty five to thirty percent of the total yield. So uh, it is very important for us to find out a sustainable utilization of these peels, um, so that we move towards a more uh, sustainable environment, and we. Um, do not go into the consequences. So, uh, therefore, not taking any further time, I would like to introduce our speaker for the day, Jyoti Pachishya. She is a lecturer, clinical dietitian, diabetes educator, and uh, researcher. She is an MSc in uh, food and nutrition and uh, is a diabetes educator. Currently, she is uh, a guest lecturer at IMS Mukundopir at the Department of Dietetics and Nutrition and in uh, Dolphin School of Hotel Management, Kalyani. She is a practicing freelance dietitian in a private chamber and uh, she is working as a nutrition expert with various uh, online platforms. She has worked as a uh, consulting dietitian with Genesis Hospital for two years and uh, she has multiple publications to her name. She is a speaker at uh, various webinars. She has participated as delegate in different uh, conferences. She is a dietitian awardee by Indian Women Global Awards uh, 2023. And she is a life member at IAPN India, Society of Nutrition and Dietetics and NSI Hyderabad. Over to you, Jyoti. A very warm welcome to each one of you present here. Thank you, Kushbu for introducing me and sincere thanks to IPN India for giving me the opportunity to speak about the recycling the food waste, which is a concerning uh, and uh, currently the scenario and has been always sparked our brains that how can we better utilize it to reduce the waste, not just in the present, but also in the future. So without wasting time, let's start the uh, session. Can you please share the screen, please? I've actually shared the screen. Yeah. Thank you so much, Prashwudi. Yeah, it is absolutely visible. Um, so without wasting time, let's start about the nutritional importance of the pomegranate beans. Next slide, please. Prashwudi, uh, next slide, please. I have uh, changed my screen already. The slide has changed. Is it visible? Yeah. Thank you so much. 
Now we are very much aware that fruits and vegetables are the storehouse of the essential nutrients like vitamins and the minerals. They are the most utilized commodities among all horticulture crops consumed as the raw as well as in the processed forms. Now with the growing population and changing diet habits, the production and the processing of these horticulture crops have increased very significantly to fulfill the increasing demands. But unfortunately, horticulture production and the distribution activities suffers from a high incidence of the surplus food and as well as the food waste. So significant losses of these waste and uh, absolute uh, losses and waste in the industries is becoming a concern now. Next slide, please. Is it visible? Kushwudi, next. Yes, yes, it is visible. Now, as per the Ministry of the Food Processing Industries data, which has been seen in the year 2022, India calculates the total fruits and vegetable losses uh, of around 12 and 21 million tons, respectively. So, if we say then amounts to approximately USD 4.4 billion in value with the total value of the waste and losses of foods reaching to around maybe more than 36, uh, 36 billion tons. Means, Abhitak, we came across that plastic was a concern, plastic pollution was a concern, but now we can see food waste is also a concern and so the food as well. Next slide, please, Kushmudi. I have changed it. It's just taking some time. Yeah, it's okay. Now, but we need to understand first that what exactly is food waste is. Food waste, or as we see it as the food scraps, is composed of mainly of seeds, skin, uh, rind, and as well as pomes, which contains significant amount of potential valuable bioactive compounds such as carotenoids, polyphenols, dietary fibers, vitamins, essential oils, and many more. So these phytochemicals and polyphenols that are present, it can be utilized in different sectors of the industries, whether it's in terms of the food if we say, pharmaceutical if we say, as well as in terms of the textiles. The use of the waste for the various purpose is very essential and a very important step towards the sustainable development. The peel uh, may not look so appetizing. It's an obvious thing. If we think, imagine you are taking a medicine and you expect that the medicine ka taste will be very great. Of course not. The, but the, it will be benefiting for our body. Similarly, if you eat a good food, if you eat a good food, which is so that accordingly we need to understand also. So it can be extremely beneficial in boosting metabolism, controlling blood pressure and improves the eyesight. Push to the next slide, please. One of them that today I'm going to discuss about the peels, you know, is about the pomegranate peels. So pomegranate peels are conferred with the wealth of the nutrients and antioxidants and the incredible health benefits uh, are attributed to their potent anti-inflammatory, antifungal and antibacterial traits. And using these peels, we effectively combat acne, detoxify the system, fades away the wrinkles, remedy sore, sore throat and cuff, and lowers the risk of the chronic disease. How it's going to help? That we'll be discussing very soon in the coming section. Now, how you can use it? 
you can use it as a whole the peels you can dry it and uh, you can uh, steep it in the hot water enjoy it and relish it as a tea or you can dry it and pound it into a fine powder steep it in hot water and relish it as the relished as tea or mixed with water to make a fine paste and topically applied on the skin so it can act as a skin pack as well so it's an abundance of the antioxidants vitamins minerals and inflammatory qualities and pomegranate can be used for various purposes as well next slide please This is an infographic. Basically, it shows that how pomegranate peels have their own benefits. Like it is helpful in the diabetes, hypertension, hyperlipidemia, antihypertensive capacity, cardiovascular diseases, increases HDL cholesterol, reduces LDL cholesterol, improves liver and the kidney functions. Next slide, please. We'll be discussing each of them in details also now. Okay, now pomegranate peels are used in various food varieties owing to their great nutritional and chemical composition. The peels contain optimum levels of the carbohydrates as you can see in the slide it's mentioned, followed by the moisture, protein, ash, as well as fiber as to some extent around the fat as well. Next slide please. This slide shows the bioactive or the polyphenol compounds and the total phenol of the pomegranate peel extract. Various studies have demonstrated that the peels contain more bioactive components than any other part of the pomegranate. One of them which is highlighted apart from the mentioned is the punicic acid or the punicillin as well. And this is actually named after the principal source that is the pomegranate and has been proven to protect collagen fibers, accelerates the wound healing and scars. And the most, uh, and the next mentioned are all about the, the, in the table is about the flavonoids and the polyphenols, which can restrain food oxidation and increases the time frame of the realistic usability and the nature of the food. In short, this can also be helpful in improving the shelf life of the food product. How will it be done will be coming across very soon. And that's because of these so many benefiting, that's why it is often entitled as the super peels. We all have heard about the superfoods, and right? so this is at time referred as the super peaks. Now, let's go to the section where we'll be knowing that how pomegranate peels helps in the management of the chronic disease. Next slide, please. Okay, the first one that we're going to discuss is about the diabetes mellitus. Uh, I don't think I have to really introduce this but about this chronic disease because I'm sure everyone is familiar about the diabetes mellitus. But still, this is something that is a metabolic sickness in, on the planet which is characterized by various symptoms, be it hyperglycemia or hypoglycemia, and ends up in the disorders of the carbohydrate, fat, and protein metabolism. Now, how does this pomegranate peels actually help? Now, it actually inhibits the alpha glucosidase and increases the aldohexose absorption. The bioactive components or the active ingredients which are present in this pomegranate peels, it shows to cut back the cardiopathy. Basically, it is a long-term complications which affects the heart together with the diabetes. And how is it helpful? By inhibiting the beta lipoprotein oxidation. Now, recently, uh, I'm sharing one data with you all. In the month of the February 2023, uh, 
a research was conducted where a product was made, basically um, bread slice, you can say, where pomegranate peel around uh, 500 mg was incorporated in that pound, I think two pound bread it was, and it was given two slices every day. Like a comparative study was done ki a group ko normal bread slice and the another one was given the pomegranate peel wala bread to understand the comparison and to know the more further studies. So it was found that a decrease in the waist circumference, waist hip ratio, waist height ratio, body fat percentage, blood pressure, serum insulin, triglyceride, and total cholesterol levels, as well as the other glycemic levels was much decreased and it came under control. So from this, we can actually understand that it is used as a nutritionary health product for the interference and the treatment of a kind of pair of diabetes and disconnected complications. And if we can incorporate in various recipes and accordingly we can make help people to understand that how this can be beneficial equally. Next slide, please. Okay, the next one, which is about the neurological disorders. Now, this neurological disorders, they are considered as the most deteriorating, characterized by a decrease in memory, conduct, mental component capacities inside the mature age groups. It includes ADHD. I'm sure everyone is aware about what is ADHD, that is attention <clears throat> It is basically attention deficit, hyperactivity disorder, Parkinson's disease, all include in them. The most frequent and vital pathological feature among these disorders is found as the oxidative stress, inflammation, and accumulation of the misfolded proteins. Brain damage is a significant public health burden in this. So how does pomegranate peels help? It is helping in the form of an extract in a product and it is a source of bioactive compounds that can reduce the senile plates. Basically, it is improving the expression of the neurotrophin BDNF by reducing the inflammation because it has anti-inflammatory properties and the phenolic components that is present. So in a way, it is reducing the activity of the enzyme acetylcholinesterase, reduces the lipid perioxidation, and also in a way, it reduces the expression of inflammatory cytokine TNF-alpha. It is very helpful in creating a functional reserve that protects the brain from neurodegenerative processes that follows the Alzheimer's disease. Next slide, please. Uh, someone can please mute, uh, mute yourself, whoever is that. Okay, next is the oral cavities. Just like the fruit, we all know that uh, to protect the oral related problems, pomegranate, uh, the previous slide, previous slide. Oral cavities. Yes, I have already seen oral cavities. Yeah, thank you so much. Uh, just like the fruit, pomegranate peels is loaded with the antioxidants and antibacterial compounds, which helps in improving the oral hygiene. It contains bioactive compounds like tannins, uh, triterpenes, essential oils, carotenoids, saponin, vitamins uh, C and A, alkaloids, glycosides that records worthy medicinal goods throughout the history of the humanity. 
it serves to inhibit candida albicans, which is an uh, then followed by antibacterial Staphylococcus aureus, Staphylococcus mutant, Pisteracea coli, and antifungal Asparagus. Ni uh, Asparagus nigger, which is a common microorganism involved in the dental and oral problems like in chronic gingivitis. Very interestingly, it was found in Ayurveda study that it is a herbal drug which has Kasya Ras, Anushna Virya, and Madhura Vipak, which are exactly opposite to doshic configuration of Ghilayu. Gilayu is the term which is called, which is said for tonsillitis. Basically, it is used in the treatment of the tonsillitis, apart from the gingivitis and the scurvy problem. Next slide, please. Now, uh, India is a place where we can see the prevalence of the bone problems are more uh, after diabetes, if we all can see, right? So among these chronic diseases, bone problems is the second most one, the most silent killer actually you can say, which acts like a slow poison. So this actually, you know, it's associated with bone remodeling impairment. And if it is not detected early, it can lead to bone loss. And uh, we have seen so many drugs, medicines. We have come across these specific nutrients also, which are very good, very, very uh, specific for the bone health as well. Well, uh, pomegranate peels also can help in the management of the bone problems as well. How is it helping? Let's see. It can directly modulate the bone cell differentiation and it can lead to improved resorption formation ratio. What happens when there is a more of the bone problems, we see resorption is happening more. And as a result of, in fact, what happens? Inflammation is going on more. Oxidative stress is already inside the body. The free radicals are already moving inside the body. So somewhere or the other, the bone micro environment, the bone remod bone modeling, everything gets impaired. So pomegranate fields helps in that. Another mechanism which is seen that it helps to enhance the growth of the bifidobacteria and lactobacilli in the intestine. So in this way, it increases the production of the short-chain fatty acids, which has a somewhat contribution directly in the enhancement of the calcium absorption via a cation exchange mechanism. Okay, so in a way, you all can say that when bone problems are healing, it is also helping in healing the gastric problems as well. So, in a way, it is helping in both the ways also. Next slide, please. Cancer, another very chronic disease. Uh, the presence of this uh, Sorry, the presence of punicalcigen, which is actually a polyphenol, uh, it is attributed to possess anti-cancer traits. It provides numerous beneficial properties because and it intervenes in the cell cycle, proliferation, survival signals, catabolic processes such as apoptosis and uh, autophagy. Along with the punic calcigen, illogic acid, which we saw, if you all remember in the slide, it was mentioned about the polyphenol composition. Illogic acid is another major constituent present in pomegranate peel, which is shown to process strong anti uh, proliferative activities. Pomegranate peels, in short, exhibit strong antioxidant activities it's a rich source of hydrolyzable tannins, anthocyanins, which helps to combat cancer. 
and recently it has been found in the uh, managing the liver cancer. Earlier it was just seen in the you know the gastric gastric cancer and all, but now recently it has found that it helps in the managing the liver cancer as well. Next slide, please. Okay, so we had a big conversation about the chronic diseases. Now let's know that how it is helping in the industry, how it is giving it. So this is a, a infographic basically you can see that how it is helping in the industrial purposes or it, uh, how much it has the industrial applications. So let's know more in details. Next slide, please. Number one, animal feed. Now this is something very commonly we all see. Um, I'm sure if you all have done this also at your home level, which uh, which is being seen. Um, this it can be used as an animal feed and it has a double benefit. The best part is it has a double benefit. Number one, it helps to lower the greenhouse gas emission. Means you're giving to the, something good to the ecosystem. Second, it promotes the utilization of the food industry by products in the livestock nutrition. Pomegranate peel has relatively high nutritive value. It is a valuable source of plant secondary compounds such as polyphenols, especially tannins and saponins. And it is therefore a potential functional feed ingredient in ruminant diets. Ruminant, as you all can see, I'm talking about the cows, cows, buffalo, basically. And it, in a way, it is improving their detox and the health status as well as the protein utilization. Okay, next slide, please. Another very important aspect where pomegranate pea is used is in the packaging, especially in the active release packaging, it is helpful. Like pomegranate peels extracts exhibits the uh, inhibitory, it was done in a study in the year 2023 where it was seen that the extracts was used to, uh, um, to coat the various uh, some edible food items and it has shown the inhibitory and bactericidal effects against the gram positive and gram negative bacteria which is the biggest advantage for the edible coatings. It has higher amount of the bioactive compounds as well as higher antioxidant and antibacterial activity such as gallic acid, elagic acid, caffeic acid which are responsible to extend the shelf life of processed products. Next slide, please. Another very important and yet the most interesting concept is seen that the phenolics that are present in the pomegranate peel, it improves the stored meat products, the quality, namely uh, the instrumental color retaining that helps in the limit in limiting the microflora growth. It helps in the retardation of the lipid and the protein oxidation. The phenolics that are present in the pomegranate peel acts as the functional ingredient to replace the part of the fat in the raw meat product, which helps in determining changes in the instrumental color and the texture. And it is very helpful in the sensory acceptation and neophobia. Neophobia is basically the phobia which is seen, um, you know, it is like uh, whether it is affecting the sensory properties or not. Now, this uh, with this, I would like to enhance one study which was done on the sausages and uh, sausage and it was found that not just uh, it was acceptable in terms of the sensory evaluation, but at the same time, the shelf life was increased to better and the quality of the meat has improved a lot. So this can be one, uh, you know, natural yet innovative concept 
to use pomegranate peel in the meat industries. Whether you want to cook it, whether you want to use it as a, you know, in the packaging material or in whichever way. If you want to add color also, this is helpful. And interestingly, that was also found in the textile industry as well. At times, for natural color, pomegranate peel is also used. It is actually, uh, it can, if the extract is taken out and it is dyed in the fabric and interestingly, it is shown very good response. But as I said, researchers are still going on to understand what can further be done to improve in other meat products as well. Next slide, please. Yes, very uh, interesting one. The one who loves bakery, the one who loves the bake products, if you want to home bakery ka business, bhi karna ho, to this can be one helpful to them as well. Basically, as we mentioned, that the pomegranate peel is a source of several bioactive components in bakery products and helps to increase the shelf life, improves the product's quality, properties, and nutritional value. I have mentioned about the, the bread one. Not only it was highly accepted in among the diabetics, but also it uh, the shelf life of bread was in increased also and it stayed longer. The quality was better than the before, right? Apart from that, it is also being combined with some other ingredients like pomegranate peel with the sweet potato peels or maybe sweet potato flour or maybe with the banana flour, could be raw banana flour. And in that, the, they have been mixed and cookies have been made. You know, nowadays we are getting, people are knowing about the gluten-free karna hai, mujhe ye, isko lactose-free banana hai. Or is it like, mujhe maida kam use karna hai. I want to make sure ki it should be free of maida or there should be less of maida. Then this can be one substitute as well. And for increasing the color, this pomegranate peel is a good option. They are not just low in fat, but a good source of dietary fiber, protein, variety of micronutrients and phytochemicals. And it has also shown therapeutic activity to its high content in dietary fiber in terms of hypercholesterolemia, diabetes and cancer, which we have seen in the previous slides. So it, it can be added to many food products as the bakery products. Even supplementation with other ingredients in bakery and other processed products helps in the improving the nutritional and chemical qualities. Yesterday, I was when I was reading about this, I came across a product was developed with a chikki. You know, uh, for the emergency food or the disaster relief management to be often provide some certain dry foods now. So, usme, there is one I came across about the chikki. Now, in that chikki, pomegranate peel powder of around, you know, uh, three, uh, 500 to 600 mg was incorporated. And it was seen that to use a chikki not just to taste good, but also but, can somebody mute them, sir? Excuse me, Tina Day. Tina Day, can you please mute yourself? I'll just stop share and mute I think it's muted now. Yes. Yeah. Kushbudi, uh, can you please share the slide again? I'll share it. Is it visible yeah. now? 
getting visible. Yeah, thank you so much. So supplementation with other ingredients. So I were, as I was mentioning about the chicki, so yes, that was a new product development, not just in terms of the sensory evaluation, it was a good one, but also in terms of the nutritional point of view, that the nutrient value was also increased. So in a way, we can actually think of incorporating uh, the pomegranate peels, which we can, you know, in the different food products, in a way, not just we are reducing the waste also, but at the same time, we are making sure that the new product is developed and we are enhancing that, their nutritional value in that particular product as well. That quality is also maintained. Next slide, please. So with this, I would like to conclude that pomegranate peels show higher antioxidant properties and pose higher in applications for food products. They exhibit anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, improves the cardiovascular diseases, rather reduces the incidences. It, is, uh, it has got properties which reduces the risk of infection. It heals the wounds and scars. So in a way, it is playing and modulating and in the interventional role in several diseases. It reusing these type of peels. I just mentioned about the pomegranate peels. When If you all come across something like that, which we can incorporate in the food products, like in this way, as I mentioned, and in a way, in the fresh foods industry or in any process scale also, you know, in a way, you are introducing a sustainable way to reduce the environmental impact and cost associated with the significant advantages to the product quality. We know what has happened, what nowadays, what are the cost of getting price and all, right? So think in that way, in a way that not just whatever they are giving us, these fruits and vegetables are giving us nutrients, so in a way, we have to give back something to the ecosystem as well. And its shelf life can be enhanced with using these, followed by the improvement in the human health. Now, question might come to you that we, uh, apart from these things, where we can use, you can incorporate in recipes, uh, you can use it in the form of fertilizer, um, you can, as I mentioned, you can use it for the skincare tips, but make sure it is not allergic to you. Skin and health care, uh, hair care, it is, shouldn't be allergic to you. For that, do the skin test as it is always mentioned for any product, as we all know, do using the, uh, using any makeup products or something. Do a skin test. If it's suitable, then please go for it. Next slide, please. These are my references which have been used for the, making the presentation. And uh, as I mentioned, this is, actually, as I say always, that uh, this, slide, uh, this list is actually very less because if you keep on study, the list will increase gradually. So and eventually you will come across more and more new concepts also. So... These are the references for the still now. Next slide. Thank you everyone for listening so patiently and uh, really bottom from my heart. Thank you so much for that. And uh, any, you are all open for the questions now. To the last slide. Yes, I have already um, changed it. So we are open to any questions. We actually have two questions in the okay. chat. I'll just stop share and uh, we can take the questions. Yeah, sure. Thanks. So um, the first one is that uh, mm -hmm. it is from Shazia. She has asked if 
um, the peel, uh, they do not contain any pesticide or chemicals that are sprayed to increase their shelf life. So in that case, how do we uh, consume these uh, peels? Peels, uh, see, back to if we say for any food products, especially in terms of the fruits and vegetables, they do contain insecticides and pesticides. We need to know how it should be washed to make sure that we are using it. Then only we can utilize it properly. So steep it in hot water for some time and then you can utilize that thing. Thank you. Hopefully um, the question has been answered. Now uh, the next one is that um, what is the minimum amount that needs to be consumed on a daily basis to see any kind of results? Is there any um, regulations or any specific guidelines for that? Um, till now, any there is no specific for that. But if you really want to start with it, start with the half teaspoon powder with that. Start with the powder and see the result first. And uh, then accordingly, if you think that it is improving, then gradually start increase the amount but otherwise as such guidelines have not come yet it is still because as i mentioned the research is still going on to understand the exact amount that can be recommended as well but if you really want to try start with the minimal amount that is the half teaspoon in the form of powder again okay thank you Jyoti, can you on your camera if that's possible I just give me a minute. Yes. Yeah. My yes. Now you're visible. So another question we have from uh, Doctor Ananya Kashyap, ma'am. Uh, ma'am has asked if the peel, yes. uh, if we are using the peel, then in that uh, is we uh, like are we using only the red portion or it is also the inner part that is being used? Both. The red as well as the white portion. Okay. So both have the same benefits as you have already mentioned in the study. Okay. Yes. So uh, the next one is from uh, Oishani Hajra. She has asked, mm -hmm. um, can uh, we use all things of pomegranate? Like all the parts of pomegranate, can, we, it, uh, can it be used or not? Definitely, we can use all the parts of the pomegranate fruit, uh, like the calyx is also used. We all know pomegranate seeds, the very famous anardana ka powder. Anardana powder can be used to relieve the constipation. Yes. So, in a way, you can utilize the, all the parts of the fruit. But yes, as I mentioned, the researchers are still going on to get a clear concept that how are they can be useful and how you can use it as well. For example, take in this case also, uh, the specific guideline uh, for using the exact amount is still in the, on the research way. Similarly for this also. But yes, many people still try in their own way also. So let's hopeful that uh, more research is so that we also get a clear concept about it. Okay, so we have one more question that um, it is from Ananya Upadhyay ma'am. She has asked okay. if um, if there is any guideline that uh, suggests the best time to consume these. Uh, best time as such is not given. Uh, for that, we need to know about it uh, because it's a very fresh topic right now. So best time and the best uh, way to incorporate the thing is still on the research and uh, we are hopeful that we can come across more about this thing but if you really but uh, there are certain articles where it is mentioned that if you want to enjoy that thing it is better to have it on empty stomach where you can incorporate in the form of a powder in the hot water and you can gradually have it relish it like a tea Okay, so these were the questions. These were the uh, questions we had. Thank you so much, Jyoti. It was a, a like a fantastic session. We have a lot of messages in the chat as well about uh, the session being very uh, helpful, a very innovative topic indeed, and. Um,
the and um, also you have answered the questions uh, fantastically so we will look forward to sessions uh, in the future and now i would uh, invite uh, koel di for um, giving the uh, vote of thanks for the day i think uh, sorry koel di before i you interrupt there is one question i can see by given by ankita like can i put diabetes patients with fatty liver consume pomegranate of course of course you can uh, it can be recommended to type 2 diabetes as i mentioned in my slide that diabetes and its related complications whether it's like fatty liver or heart diseases you know for them pomegranate peels can be used thank you So may I start? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jyoti. Thank you so much, Kushbu. Such a such an important, outstanding program it was, and definitely an out of the box topic that has been discussed today. And I would like to say one thing: like this kind of young minds. if we gather together even under a roof we can escalate our fraternity i would say i would like to thank ms jyoti pachesia for coming up with such an innovative topic thank you khushbu for moderating so well thank you so much our ec member ipn india kolkata chapter our mentor and all all of the members of ipn india kolkata chapter and all the delegates from ipn india we are like a family hopefully we will do more programs like this way and definitely till then thank you so much and special thanks again to jyoti and khushbu uh, thank you for composing this program like this way i am so overwhelmed thank you again and good night all of you and i will upload the recording as soon as possible thank you so we are happy yes thanks to each you. one of you all thank you thank you for joining okay good night good night good night thank you all of you thank you